any animal strong enough may volunteer until Napoleon calls a halt to the work. The animals work hard all day long. The hay store is full to overflowing. The animals themselves are happy, but exhausted. Together, they name the seven laws of animalism. After the meeting, Squealer begins painting the new laws on the wall of the barn. This is the beginning of animalism on the farm. Every animal is committed to the principles set down by Old Major. If anyone forgets, the chanting of the sheep will remind them. Sometime later, the animals discover what is happening to the milk. It is being mixed into the pig's feed. The hay store is full and the animals are content. The birds are awake before anyone. The birds go into town and perch where they can best hear. The news of what happened on Animal Farm has spread across. Animal Farm borders two other farms. One is called Foxwood, a large, neglected, old-fashioned farm. Frederick is always mm. involved in a lawsuit with someone. Snowball spends every spare hour in the harness room. He devotes himself to reading about smithing and carpentry.
Every Sunday, the animals meet to discuss the welfare of the farm. It is always Napoleon and Snowball who propose the resolutions. Summer progresses, and the fields darken to gold. In the heat, the sheep are complaining they haven't been sheared. Snowball and Napoleon cannot agree what to do. The pigs have set aside the harness room as a headquarters for themselves. In the evenings, they study blacksmithing and carpentry from books. The hot weather makes everyone short-tempered. The animals were already discontent. Now they are nearly wild. It's late in the year to start harvesting the grains. Animal Farm has fallen behind. The animals choose who will work the harvest. In all the nearby farms, word spreads about the state of affairs in Animal Farm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jones's neighbors make fun of him for losing his farm to his own animals. Mm. The dogs wake up full of energy. All that month, the animals work very hard, but they are happy. Nothing feels like too much sacrifice, since they see the benefits. Morning wakes up the cows. The birds are awake before anyone. Birds fly through town, singing the tune of Beasts of England. All the animal most of this time, Mr. Jones has spent in the tap room of the Red Lion at Willingdon. He's complaining to anyone who would listen for the monstrous injustice he suffered. <gasps> Summer becomes autumn. Next, the animals must plow the fields. It's beginning to get cold, but it's not too late to do this work. <laughs>
Time comes for the planting of the winter wheat. The seed must be drilled in before the frost comes. Bitter, the snow covers the farm. Animals are going hungry. Another winter damages the farm buildings. Shingles come off the roofs and the barn develops a leak. Animal Farm has survived its first year. The second year begins with warnings. The project of teaching the animals to read has not gone to plan. Only the pigs can read well. <laughs> the time has come again for gathering in the hay.
one night, there is an escape from a traveling circus. Even in a distant county, a few of the escapees are here of Animal Farm. <coughs> Napoleon calls the animals together in a meeting. July turns into August. Rules on rationing and work. No one dares to be seen away from the fields when it's time to work. Even the cat has been The dogs wake up full of energy. fly through town, singing the tune of Beasts of England. All the animals pick it up, even the humans notice. The hay has all been gathered in, and it is time to harvest the grain. It's difficult work. The animals choose who will work the harvest. The sun rises over the summer fields. <laughs> Animal Farm is increasingly famous with the neighboring farms. The animals at Foxwood have been known to look over the fence and envy. Stir in the hen house. Once again, it is October.
October. The weather is next. The animals must plow the fields. It's beginning to get cold, but it's not too late to do this work. Time comes for the planting of the winter wheat. The seed must be drilled in before the frost comes. Bitter, the snow covers the farm. <coughs> There's not enough food to go around. The animals are going hungry. January, there comes bitterly hard weather. The earth is like iron, and nothing can be done in the fields. Farm is divided on the matter of the window. Time has come again for gathering in the hay. Snowball is hard at work on the plans for the windmill. He spends long hours alone in the harness room, working on the documents. <laughs> the birds are awake before anyone. Days are long now. Midsummer comes and goes. Benjamin groggily wakes up. <laughs> 
Benjamin is a slow but steady. The camel works very hard and asks a large number of questions. The hay has all been gathered in, and it is time to harvest the grain. At last, Snowball's plans are completed. The animals gather to vote on whether to start work. Just at this moment, Napoleon stands and gives a high-pitched whimper. A few weeks later, Napoleon announces it's time to begin the windmill. The birds are awake before anyone. There is a good quarry of limestone on the farm, enough for the windmill, but for weeks no one can see. Snowball's campaign to educate the animals has been a success. Almost every animal on the farm is able to read. Thank <laughs> you. 
Autumn arrives to find the windmill more than half built. Now is the time of year when the neighboring farmers cut the hedges. November comes, and the winds rage from the southwest. It is too wet to mix cement, and building of the windmill must stop. It rains heavily for several days, and no work can be done. The birds cluster just outside the door of the Red Lion in Willington. The weather turns bitter, the snow covers the farm. The days are getting shorter and colder as December comes in. The fields are still not plowed and this work has to be done in darkness. It is late in the year. The winter wheat should already be in the ground. One night, there is a violent gale. It blows tiles off the barn roof. In the morning, the windmill is in ruins. part of the year comes and goes. Napoleon sits at the front of the barn with a semicircle of dogs. Instead of having to rules on rationing, no one dares to be seen away from the fields when it's time to. The time has come again for gathering in the hay. built to be three feet thick this time. Much larger quantities of stone are required. It is back-breaking work. Supplies are ruined. together in a meeting. Once again, summer is passing. The hot weather makes everyone short-tempered. The animals were already discontent. Now they are nearly wild.
The animals notice that they're going to need more supplies soon. Nails, string, dog biscuits, iron to shoe the horses. A few days later, a man by the name oh. of Wimper is seen on the farm. Mr. Every Monday, he arrives to receive his instructions from Napoleon. Birds are awake before anyone. The apples are now ripening, and there are windfalls in the orchard. The animals have assumed that these will be shared out equally. late in the year to start harvesting the grains. The animals choose who will work the harvest. Some of the grain in the stores goes missing. No one knows who is to blame. Fox's health has been failing. He, he talks to Clover about his hopes for a quiet retirement. In the middle of the day, a van comes to take Boxer away. Benjamin catches sight of it. Someone thinks of racing ahead to shut the gate, but it's too late. The rats have even begun to write a paper of their own. <laughs> Molly is seen repeatedly at the fence with the neighboring farm. The farm hands are feeding her sugar. Autumn arrives, and the windmill is still not very advanced. It is October. The weather it is too cold to graze any longer. The animals move indoors. It rains heavily for several days, and no work can be done. The birds cluster just outside the door of the Red... Mr. Jones has moved away from the county, but the other farmers still meet to talk about Animal Farm. Weather turns bitter. The snow covers the farm. <laughs> the days are getting shorter and colder as December comes in. The fields are still not ploughed, and this work has to be done in darkness. It is late in the year. The winter wheat should already be in the ground. One morning, the animals are at breakfast when the lookouts come in. Frederick and his followers have come through the five-barred gate.
After a few minutes, the farmhands run in all directions. When they get up, another winter damages the farm buildings. Meetings in the barn are rarer now than in the early days. There are not so many topics for debate as they used to be. Flowers grow all over the farm. The winter chill wears off. Rules on rationing and working times are observed. No one dares to be seen away from the field. The time has come again for gathering in the hay. <coughs> Napoleon gathers the animals together one morning. Then he whimpers. Immediately, the dogs bound. The four pigs confess that they have been in touch with Snowball. They admit they collaborated with him to destroy the windmill. They say they agreed with him to hand Animal Farm over to Mr. Frederick when they have finished their confession. When it is all over, the remaining animals creep away. Clover cannot find the words for her thoughts. She knows this is not the rebellion she dreamed of. Instead, they have come to a time of bloodshed. Above all, it is necessary to prevent Jones from returning. The other animals join her, slowly and mournfully. The rats are active on the farm, though they don't do much work. Naturally, that does not stop them helping themselves to the supplies. A few weeks later, Napoleon announces it's time to begin the windmill. The days are long now. Once again, summer is passing. The dogs wake up full of energy. dies in the night. A general feeling prevails that the pigs were to blame. The rats are active on the farm, though they don't do much work. Naturally, that does not stop them helping themselves to the supplies. The work of hauling stone The animals will need machinery to finish the windmill. There is a lively debate about how to speed along the work. Thank you. 
It is a very bright morning. It's late in the year to start harvesting the grains. The animals choose who will work the harvest. By autumn, the windmill has been fully built. That fact makes up for a great deal else. It is October. The weather is next. The animals must plow the fields. It's beginning to get cold, but it's not too late to do this work. It rains heavily for some days. The roof of the barn leaks, and all the animals are miserable. The weather turns bitter. The snow covers the farm. It is late in the year. The winter wheat should already be in the ground. These days, the animals gather in the barn only on holidays. At the anniversary of the rebellion, there are speeches and songs. Flowers grow all over the farm. The winter chill when rules on rationing and working times are observed. For no one dares to be seen away from the fields when it's time to work. Even the cats with the dogs, they patrol the boundaries of the farm. No human could get in. No animal could get out without being seen. The time has come again for gathering in the hay. Farm implements were made for human hands. One night, there is a loud crash in the yard. The animals rush out at the end of the barn, where the laws are written, is a broken ladder. Napoleon has required the hens to lay more and more eggs. Clover overheard him bargaining with Mr. Wimper. <laughs> Morning wakes up the cows. <laughs> oh! Some of the grain in the stores goes missing. No one knows who is to blame. <laughs> the dogs wake up full of energy. It's late in the year to start harvesting the grains. Animal farm. The animals choose who will work the harvest.
Some of the grain in the stores goes missing. No one knows who is to blame. By autumn, the windmill has been fully built. That fact makes up for a great deal else. Next, the animals must plow the fields. It's beginning to get cold, but it's not too late to do this work. It is late in the year. The winter wheat should already be in the ground. Another year begins. Animal Farm has endured much longer than anyone predicted. Each Sunday, Squealer appears before the animals and speaks to them. Rationing and working times are observed very No one dares to be seen away from the fields when, as for the dogs, they patrol the boundaries of the farm. No human could get in, and no animal could get out without being seen. The time has come again for gathering in the hay. easy work. The farm implements were made for human hands. The sheep wake in the morning. <laughs> to harvest the grain. It's difficult work without any threshing. The animals choose who will work the harvest. Some of the grain in the stores goes missing. No one knows who is to blame. Napoleon calls the animals together in a meeting. <laughs> By autumn, 
The windmill has been fully built. That fact makes up for a great deal else. The animals often walk around the windmill. Next, the animals must plow the fields. It's beginning to get cold, but it's not too late to do this work. It is too cold to graze any longer. The animals move indoors to get out of the bad weather. turns bitter. The snow covers the farm. <coughs> it is late in the year. The winter wheat should already be in the ground. One afternoon, a number of dog carts drive up to the farm. A group of neighboring farmers, have, they admire everything they see. The animals are weeding the turnip field. They work hard without ever looking up at either the pigs or the humans. That evening, there is loud laughter and singing from the farmhouse. A few of the animals creep up to look through the window. Around the long table sit half a dozen farmers with the most eminent pigs. They've just ended a game of cards. Beer has been brought out for the table. As the animals outside watch the scene, something strange happens. The faces of the pigs are changed. The creatures outside look from pig to human, and from human to pig, and already it is impossible to say which is which.